Hello, hello, everyone. Thanks for taking time out of your day. Watch this. All right, okay. So I got a message, a comment, really, from the Meta Shiba token I bought. Uh, sorry, excuse me. <laughs> I did it. I uh, talked about Excuse me. I didn't buy it, actually. <laughs> anyway, um, so what was I going to say? Right, right. Uh, yeah. Anyway, the comment is, um, the comment is, how does coin market cap work? And um, basically, how do I buy it? Essentially, right. So this is from Juan Santiago. Hold on, let me. Uh, so hopefully, this is correct. Juan Santiago. Okay, thank you, Juan. By the way, for um, bringing that up. Anyway, so what? Uh, let's just talk about um, Meta Shiba token for one, right? Let's see. Uh, let's take a look here. Meta Shiba. Meta Shiba. Okay. So Meta Shiba has 6,900 and some odd addresses, right? Take a look at there and we'll go into our coin market cap or can be coin gecko, either one. Meta Shiba, right? Okay. So uh, let's say you want to buy this, right? Oh, I want to buy this, right? Good, fine. You want to buy it. So you scroll down here. Now you scroll down. You scroll down, down, down. Let you scroll down. Okay. So how you know where you can buy it is here on your on your markets. So you click on let's see all markets, right? Okay, so all my markets are meaning a market's like uh here's what I can where I can buy it, right? Essentially. So what you can do is you can right click on this, open new tab. And this is your exchange, right? These are exchanges. So in this exchange, for instance, PancakeSwap is an exchange. What you can do is you can click on this and open this new tab, right? Conversely, wow, uh, okay, a billion? Oh, okay, yeah, a billion in 24 hours, right? So 1.4, 1.14 billion in 24 hours is their volume. Okay, if you look down a little bit here, you're going to see all the tokens that are available to PancakeSwap, essentially. All these down here are available. So these are all coins and tokens, excuse me, that you can you can buy from um, the market, PancakeSwap. Okay, more importantly, like coin market cap, right? Coin market cap. So going back to coin market cap, right? Let's say it wasn't it wasn't MetaShiba that you wanted to buy. It was something else, whatever it is, right? Let's say oh let's say it's Bitcoin. Whatever, right? Let's say it's Bitcoin. Um or Solana or Cardano, right? Let's say Cardano, because I don't think you can buy Cardano on on um coin on PancakeSwap. So let's right click, open new. Okay. Scroll down a little bit here, down, down. What I'm looking for is I'm looking for markets, how I can buy it. Yeah, here we go. Corn Mart right here. Okay. So these are the places that I can buy Cardano, right? I can buy it from Binance. So it's Binance. I uh, forget what the website name is. Well, you just right click, open new. It'll tell you what it is. Oh, Binance.com. So 53 billion. Oh, that's amazing. So what I do is I just right click on this, open a new, and then I have, if I have a Binance account, you know, I can register and I can buy crypto here. So that's, that's Binance. That's uh, some countries, depends on where you live. I don't know where you live, but it depends like where you live. You can buy it. Some you can, some you can't. We're going back to our Cardano. Oh, here we go. Yeah. Here's a little message, right? Binance is unable to provide services to U.S. users. Binance.us is a U.S. regulated cryptocurrency, right? But look at that. If you live in a non-U.S. country, then you can buy it from this website. But if you live in the U.S., unfortunately, you can't. You have to go to this Binance.us. Okay. We're going back to our markets, right? So another one, you want to buy Cardano. Say you can't buy it there in the U.S., right? You go to Cardano. You go, oh, okay, I can buy it on Coinbase. I can buy it on Crypto. I can buy it on uh, Hoody. Hoobie? Excuse me. And then KU coin. Yeah. So your confidence level right here on the right-hand side, uh, right-hand side, yeah, 
you see your confidence indicator it's like basically like okay we have confidence that this is a a valid uh, site that you can buy it from basically and you want to look at like updated is it updated recently has it been updated if it's like 28 days you're like i'm good right like i don't know if you want to avoid this one who be global it might be a good one I'm not sure but do your own research on that Again, this is not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. It's for entertainment purposes only. Just get that out there, that little disclaimer. You can also do see more markets here. Maybe there's more. So let's go down. Maybe there's more. There is. Look at that. There's quite a few more markets. That's amazing. So all these markets, Gate.io, Bitbyte, Kraken, BitHub, Hub, Humb. All right, Bit, Humb. I can't say that correctly. I'll try it again. Hold on. Bit humb. <laughs> Sorry. Thumb, right? Thumb. Okay. Bit bit humb. There you go. Sure. Why not? So we have a bunch, right? We have there's a lot. So there's a lot, right? Get get IO Kraken ZB.com. Yeah, you just go through and find one that suits you wherever you live. And however you find it. Of course, obviously, right, paying attention to the uh, believability, confidence level, believability, confidence level, whatever it is, of the token, the exchange, right here on the right. And then recently added. It's recently. Okay, good. All of them recent. Okay. So back to kind of the original question, right, was how do we buy MetaShiba? Just how do you buy it, right? Well, obviously, we know it's on the pancake swap. It's on the pancake swap. Yeah, we know it's on the pancake swap exchange, right? So we go to this website here, right? Pancake swap right here, right? Pancake swap dot finance. And then you could do it a couple different ways. Now, if you have like, say, uh, well, okay, here we go. So connect wallet, right? Let's click connect wallet. Now this is from your computer, obviously, right? So you had a MetaMask wallet. If you had a, Trust wallet, if you had a math wallet, token pocket, finance chain, safe pal, coin nine nine eight. Or you can click like wallet connect, right, or whatever. And when you do that, it's going to uh, bring up like a uh VR code uh not a VR code, but it's like a some sort of code, like a little code on your computer here, like a uh, QR code basically, and then you take your Let's say you have a tablet or you have a phone, right? And you would scan, you would go to like your wallet and you would say like connect, wallet connect or whatever, or whatever it said, connect. And then you would point it at it essentially with a camera and it would sync it essentially. Once it's synced, once it's synced, it's going to give you this type of screen right here, actually. And it's going to say like, it's going to say like your your wallet or whatever is connected here. And, and then what you do is you say, okay, oh, um meta shiba right meta shiba click the address right the little address right here uh the the address or you could if you didn't know what it was let's say from coin market cap from coin market cap how would you do it care how would you do it okay meta shiba right is it right yeah okay so from right here, what you would do is you you say contracts, you click on copy address, okay, copy address, okay, and then you go to your exchange, your pancake shop or whatever, and then you come here and you say, okay, I have one BNB, obviously, right. Now there's a there's another process involved before you get to this, right? Obviously, right. So you would have to. So for pancake swap, you have to swap uh, BNB for smart chain, and that obviously that's another process, right? So smart chain, and the smart chain, well, it's not coming up, but it's another process, and um, I don't unfortunately have a video on that. You could, I'll, I'll try to link a video that I find uh, to it. Let me actually go to one actually real quick. So I found a video. Um, I just like to narrate a little bit, right? So this individual here has he's doing through trust wallet, right? So he opened up a trust wallet account, I guess. 
an app, right, on his phone or whatever, Android or iOS. Anyway, so he goes to buy it. He clicks on buy. Where do you do that at? He went to he went to buy here, this right here, and then he went to buy, and then he's going to buy B and B. Once he's buying B, he's going to choose MoonPay or whatever else he's doing. I think it's fifty dollars is a minimum, right? He can buy fifty, yeah, fifty dollars minimum, right? Okay, he's he's almost done with that. Okay, so now he has the B and B or whatever, right? Okay, so now he takes and he's got the B and B. He's got the B and B. I didn't watch this before I told you about it. Okay, so let me just uh, find out what I'm talking about here. Okay, do you do you see this right here? It says Smart Chain right here. It says Smart Chain. This little thing right here. So what you would do is, once you have B and B, you buy B and B. Click on here. Find it where it says that. Yeah, he has B and B, right? He got more B and B. Your your goal is to swap it with uh, Smart Chain, right? Okay, clicked over. Layer one issue here. Excuse me. Apologize. We'll get, we'll get it. Okay, here we go. So, all right. Once you have your B&B, &B, right, you're going to click on more and you're going to, it's going to show up. Um, it's going to, sh it's not here, but it's going to show up and it's going to say swap to smart chain. Once you swap to smart chain, it's going to say like, how much do you want to withdraw a hundred percent or whatever? And you're going to do that and it's going to work. And now you have, now you have smart chain. And what is smart chain? Smart chain is this right here. Smart chain is this one right here. The smart chain is what you're going to use. So when you connect your wallet, essentially, right, either it's from the trust uh, wallet or it's from the exchange here, it's going to, it's going to, that logo is going to show up here. It's not going to be this logo here. It's going to be this logo. Okay. Anyway, so that's, that's the first step really, right? Anyway, it's still, you're still going to convert from BNB, &B, right? But it's going to show up as smart chain. Anyway, so you have BNB, &B, let's say, right? So you click here. And you would, now we're still on Meta Shiba, obviously, right? Meta Shiba. Meta Shiba. Really? Seriously? Oh, it's being great today. Thank you. Internet, is the internet good? Okay. Let's try this again. Let's try this one more time. Okay. So pretend we did all that stuff, right? Obviously, trade right now. Okay. One, Binance, BNB, BNB. Okay. I'm going to click here. Really? Okay. I guess I can't. Anyway, when you click here. Wow. Okay. When you click here. You you gotta have to put that address in. This address right here. You're gonna have to put that address in there. And here. You're gonna put it here. And then it's gonna like import the token, right? And then you're gonna like be able to buy it. And then you're gonna uh you're gonna push like uh pay, uh swap or whatever, and then you're gonna have the whatever the the token is. Oh, wow, you decided to show up here. Okay, is it connected? 
Okay, whatever. Anyhow, so that's um, essentially that's how you buy. I know it's it's um, you know I'll put the sh I'll put this in the show notes, right? And I'll try to find another video for you that explains it properly how to like swap from B and B, basically, so that you see um, how it works from another you know YouTube or whatever. So that is uh, hopefully that answers your question on that one. That's what I was looking for. So. Um, Going back to core market cap, right? Going mark, going back to core market cap. If you wanted to find like a one, if you wanted to find a token out there, and you're not really sure, I use Token Sniffer. Okay, what I do is I go to like the token, right? Boom, push it here. We go to Token Sniffer. Boom, we put it in, right? And it'll tell me, okay, it's good, bad, and different, whatever, right? So, what I personally look for. Uh, one is this i look for like um so okay token fee i get all that right okay so what i look for is no prior tokens i'm okay with that i, I for me it's a red flag if i see does not contain source uh source does not contain fee modifier meaning they can modify it and the ownership pronounce i look for those and say i'm good if those are not present usually if it's only this one here usually the other ones are okay but this one, this is not good. I'm like, no, I'm good. And, you know, of course, I'm not going to, um, these three really, if they're not good, not a good buy, in my opinion. Non financial advice, of course, right? Uh, and then, of course, tokens burned, right? I don't understand that. But, um, you know, also what I'd look for, right, is a look for how many followers they have on Twitter, how many holders do they have. If they have like 2 million, right, or whatever or whatever it is, like, let's say, and their token is, looks really bad here, I might, I might do a little more research. I might go to their website, and I might want to read their white paper. I might want to say, well, what's their white paper say? You know, what, what are they, what, what is a, what is it about that token? This is more of a deck. This is not really a more of a white paper. This is a more of a deck. But, you know, what, what should it, what should it, what is it about? What are they trying to do here? What's their end all goal? You know, um, who are the people that are part of it? The ecosystem or the, the yeah, the roadmap right here. What I would look at right here. Okay, so like, you know, quarter four, um, quarter, you know, one twenty two game release, right? Um, update new version of, you know, basically what you can count on the the. Sometimes what they do is. Um, they will say like version two. Um, so for instance, I know I hit it on a little bit, right? But let me, let me highlight it a little bit more here. So one, when, like, let's go to pancakes. I'll go to pancakes. Up. Let's go to, yeah, pancakes right here. So when you see a token, right, Juan? When you see a token that's like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven zeros, right? 11 zeros, right? 11 zeros. And it has 2 million um, volume. Okay, let's just say 11 zeros. It's never going to get... Look, I get it. People want to believe it, right? I get it. People want to believe all that stuff. But you're never going to see this token go to $1. And it's never going to happen. You prob you're never going to see this token go to $0.01. Cent, okay? Let me just tell you that. At its current price level, it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen, period. Plain and simple. What they do almost always, right, is either they, they pump it, dump it, meaning they, like, get rid of it or the rug pull or whatever, right? If they don't do that, what they do is confer, uh, they consolidate. Who, who's the one? Clean Ocean did that recently, right? Clean Ocean uh, Clean Ocean did a, a did a convert the other day or last couple weeks ago where they, they took off, what, nine zeros or something like that? Clean Ocean did that. Like, let me show you. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Clean. Clean ocean. And if you're not paying attention to it, it's fine, right? If you buy it, right? Yeah, see? Migrated, right? From the old contract. Yeah. Let me let me show you this. Okay. So let's go for over here. Right. Okay. Watch this. That's not a good example. Not here. Yeah. Here we go. Um from old contract. Let's take a look at this old contract, right? 
Okay, let's first look at this contract, right? Let's copy that. We'll put in a token sniffer. Um, yeah, token sniffer. Because I want to look at the BSC for it, right? Okay, clean ocean, right? BSC. Okay. Okay, nine zeros, right? Obviously, right? But look at this. Look at this. Look at that. Total volume, right? How much is that? One billion, right? So look at the old one. Uh, look, look at the clean ocean. Look, look at the old one, right? Old contract two. So whatever the old contract was to whatever the old one was, I'm not sure. So that's the new one, right? Read here more. Read more here. Okay. What do they do? What do they do? Yeah. Okay. Say clean ocean IO. See, there's even I wonder if it even shows their old uh their old their old contract ID. Okay. Okay. Contract migration. Here it is, migration. Let's take a look at this. Now, if you're not watching these coins, by the way, they're going to do the V2, right? And it's fine and everything. Yeah, this is the new contract, right? Obviously, it doesn't show the new contract. Yeah, here we go. Watch this. So check this out. So essentially what they did was, yeah, you had to have it done by, you have to have it done by next year. I think um one fifteen twenty twenty two anyway so supply reduction right they went from um what six zeros right to one zero so they were probably so think of it this way they had six extra zeros on here right essentially they had six extra zeros before now they have um yeah they have uh so what they do is they when they when they consolidate right, they take off the total supply. They also take off six zeros from whoever owns. Um, they consolidate your your wallet as well. You you still all you have, still have the same amount of money in the token, right? Obviously, uh, but they lessen it, and that's how they get around. So, I think how it works is this: if I can just kind of um, speculate, right? Purely speculation, but is this. When you when you see a token, let's get back to my screen here. Where's I at here? Excuse me. Close that. Close that. Yeah. Close this. Right. Close this. I'm gonna get some real estate here, so I can kind of talk what I'm talking about. Right. So. Um, when you see a token, let's say the Metashiba, for instance, right, right? When you see a token with this many zeros, it's never going to get to one cent by this one. You, you'd have to, it, it would take like 10 years or more, right, to do this. And they're, and they're not, they're, these, these people aren't looking to do that. Whoever, whoever made these, Shiba, you know, these tokens, they're not looking to do that. They're not looking, to, hey, I'm going to wait 10 years. And the, and the people that are buying the tokens, they don't want to wait that long. They're like, I'm not waiting around for 10 years for me to see the gain. No, 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 I, I, no, no. So they get, you know, they get impatient, right? Obviously, right? And rightly so. There's just so much competition, right, out there. So much competition for a bunch of coins. So what they end up doing is saying, okay, let's just go ahead and consolidate, right? Now, if you're, now what they're hope now this is purely speculation, of course, right? But what they're hoping is, hey, uh, my holders, who's not watching, who whoever's uh, watching this, um, you know, uh, they'll follow, right? And they'll do it. But whoever's not watching, okay, cool, right? Well, the deadline is, you know, whatever, in a month from now. And they're not going to, you know, they're not going to do it, right? So it's going to migrate anyway. Right? And you're, in, you're, if you don't follow the token, you're not going to know to migrate, essentially. And it could be a chance that they could just like, uh, they wouldn't, Maybe they don't. They wouldn't manually migrate for you, but those coins would be lost. And what they would do is put them back in the. They would put them in the burn wallet, essentially. Right, is what would happen. They essentially, essentially consolidate those coins uh, because you didn't you didn't do it. 
so they would just consolidate them for you. And, you know, um, I don't know that you would lose it, the coins. You still have, you still have the version one coins. You just wouldn't be able to, you wouldn't have, you wouldn't be able to convert to, you wouldn't be able to take those coins and move them to version two. I hope that, um, I hope that helps you out with, uh, your buying decision. Again, do your own research and, uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.